Good evening. He was an Albuquerque cop who stole money at work, but he won't have to do any jail time for it. James Gihe struck a plea deal today. News 13 uncovered these allegations against the police officer three years ago. And as Jeannie Nguyen reports today, he saw his career officially come to an end. The hardest thing I've ever had to do was walk away from a career that I loved, that I gave my heart and soul to, that I bled for. For the first time in three years, we hear from the disgraced Albuquerque police sergeant who's now been convicted of taking money he didn't earn by falsifying his time card. I'm sorry to you, Your Honor, that I'm standing before you today. This is not who I am. This is not a reflection of me as a person or ever as a police officer. James Gihe worked at APD for 22 years before he resigned back in 2016 while facing the accusations. Investigators would later find Gihe had logged 349 hours of overtime he never worked. That totaled more than $15,000 in one year. Before he was charged, Gihe landed a new job with Tax and Rev in September 2017 as a special agent in their fraud division. Last September, Gihe's boss told News 13 she wasn't aware of our stories about Gihei and moved to fire him immediately. It's hard to say at that time had we known uh, about this specific situation. I can't say yes or no, but most likely not. But today, Gihe struck a plea deal on three felony counts of receiving public money for services not rendered, paid back the money, and agreed to give up his law enforcement license. But the DA's office didn't call for jail time, and Judge Brett Loveless agreed. I do think that a conditional discharge is appropriate. There's no criminal history. There's no indication of any danger or violence. Jeannie Nguyen, Care QE, News 13. The DA's office defended the plea deal today, saying they wanted to make sure they got a conviction and that it's rare for the courts to impose jail time for a white-collar, nonviolent defendant with no prior criminal history. And remember how Tax and Rev said they were moving to fire Gihei? He learned, we learned today he's still at Tax and Rev. He's been on paid suspension since our story last September. The department blamed the Martinez administration for keeping Gihei on, but said they will review his job status now that he has been convicted.